Happy hump day, everyone. You know it's Jack here. And first and foremost, welcome to Jack's Jack Down again. And before we get into this week's edition of JJD, I first and foremost want to ask you guys to please support the channel by clicking that subscribe button right there at the bottom and also following us on all social media platforms as well as jazzjotdown.com where you can subscribe and stay updated on all things Jack. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this crazy story that I'm about to bring you guys. Now, real quick, before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I do know that this week, the whole Dwayne Wade situation has pretty much gone viral and taken over social media and our minds. However, if you guys have been keeping up with Josh Jotdown, I made a Jotdown about that a few months ago when I discussed Alicia Keys' son going to school with rainbow colored nails. If you guys missed it, we still have the jot down available on our website as well as our social media pages, and you can go ahead and chime in. But this week edition, I'm not going to touch that topic. I did so yesterday on Facebook with Lil Boozy's commentary. Get out, chick. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything, at 16 and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone. How you going? Like, bruh, it's, it's, you're going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. And honestly, guys, <laughs> that topic threw me in for a doozy. So we're going to lighten things up a little bit and talk about some crazy entertainment stuff that's going on that I'm sure that you guys will appreciate after this week. Okay, so now that we got the disclaimers out of the way, now we can get into this juicy story that I'm sure many of you have probably not heard of yet because when I discovered the story online, it had only been out for a good seven to eight hours. So as I'm making this jot down, by the time I release this jot down, information may actually change, but I'll let you guys determine what you want to believe or not. So if you guys recall, about two years ago, there was an event that was a concert that was over in the islands titled the Fire Festival. Now this Fire Festival was co-founded by the rapper Ja Rule and it was this huge festival where artists and social media influence would come out. Uh, you can get this VIP treatment where you can have your own, um, your own cottage and your own, all this type of stuff. Now this Fire Festival concert, it was so huge the event actually went viral because it had a long list of artists. However, uh, the people who paid for this event, when they got to the actual festival, it was nothing there for them. So all this money that they paid for the private bus and their own VIP, special treatment, meet and greets, all that stuff was null and void by the time they arrived. If you guys missed it, here's a recap on what actually went down. Models, like in the Bahamas. The most insane festival the world has ever seen. Island getaway turned disaster. It became very barbaric. Right now, we are the fucking laughing stock of everything. Just wait until you see what you're getting yourselves into. American rapper Ja Rule is in the Bahamas with his business partner. Billy McFarlane is an amazing entrepreneur. He could convince anyone of pretty much anything. They just bought an island. Pablo Escobar's island. Oh my gosh. We're gonna throw a festival, yeah. Within 48 hours, they sold out. These guys are either completely full of shit or they're the smartest guys in the room. We were working around the clock, no sleep. Billy's like, bring more workers. We need more workers. Every single day, it got more tense. He just would not take no for an answer. And he just kept pulling money in somehow. Desperate people do desperate things. He was lying to investors and making it seem like we were making a ton of money when we weren't. I mean, that's fraud. We need to get the messaging out now that this is not a luxury music festival. Oh my God. There's mattresses all over the place getting soaked. The save yourself mode kicked in. Right, it's a free for all. It became this looting mentality. There's an angry mob, they're pissed off and they want their money. Powerful models built this festival. And then one picture of cheese on toast ripped down the festival. They just couldn't physically fit that many people on the island. The event's co-founder is facing up to 20 years in prison. Oh, if you had thousands of dollars to go on a trip to see Blink-182, that's on you. That is Darwinism at its finest. <laughs> The biggest event in a decade, I promise you. Okay, so now that you guys got a little bit of a background on what the fire festival was two years ago, pause, fun fact, 
you guys may not know, but I found out in this research that Michael Bloomberg, yes, the Michael Bloomberg, actually hired the Fire Festival's promoters to do his campaign memes. Ain't that something? Overnight, I kind of discovered some crazy event that I wanted to bring to you guys' attention. So if you take a look at this flyer right here, it's a festival titled Lovers and Friends Festival that's supposed to be held on May 9th in LA. Now, if you see by the list, it has everyone from TLC, Mace Lil' Kim, T-Pain, Ludacris, Megan Thee Stallion. Like, this is pretty much like the Millennium Tour on crack. So, <laughs> It's just unbelievable how many folks are going to be in the building at one time on one day. So the thing that caught my attention with this is the fact that as I was scouring through the comments of this page, which by the way has over 30,000 followers, as well as over 70,000 likes for this one post. This is the only post that they've had, and this is the only post that they've had in the past 24 hours. So after looking in the comments of this post, I saw that a lot of folks were like, oh, this is giving me fire festival vibes uh i also saw in the comments of rap radar which is a great blog shout out to them they also had mace come in their comments and say that he's not going to be on this lineup so please take him off lil kim who's also on the list posted to her story that this is a fake and that she will not be there but on the other hand artists like snoop dogg and usher made posts confirming that they will be performing so this whole thing is just so crazy to me because it's like, how is it that some artists are going to be there and some artists are not? Now, with that being said, I also looked into this event a little bit more because I want to get the information right because I might want to even go. So I went on the website and on the website, it shows that their pricing for the tickets are starting at $145. Bruh. Like, I get that it's a lot of people that's gonna be there, but these are general admission tickets starting at 145, and the VIP goes all the way up, as you can see, to $450. Like, yo, what? So, <laughs> it, 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 it just really mind boggles me because the people in the comments, they're asking the promoter's golden voice to actually confirm and get some clarity and even newspaper outlets like the los angeles times have reached out to them for comment and clarification and they have not responded so this is just so weird also another fun fact that i found out is that folks like megan the stallion and t-pain they're actually booked for other events that same day like rolling loud in miami and broccoli's hitty fest in dc so in the comments people were starting to, to mention that like well Megan Thee Stallion is gonna be here and T-Pain is gonna be there on the same day. And some folks were like, oh, they're gonna be private jetting and gonna be at both places in the same day. That's like the only response that the festival has said back to folks in the comments. So it's like, okay, if they both gonna be in different places and they're at the same time, what, like, what time is all this stuff gonna be happening? When is this stuff gonna be taking place? Like, I don't, Make it make sense, like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I don't get it, y'all. I don't get it. So yeah, for so many people and so many artists to be on this lineup, for them to have a professional website with tickets available for pre-sale this Friday, and no one pretty much knows anything that's going on. Now, as of this morning, I did look on a lot of the major blogs. I did not see no one confirm this or promote it. The only people that have been promoting it is the Golden Voice, who are the actual promoters of this event, and people like Snoop Dogg and Usher. Um, however, I do wanna see what's gonna happen. I wanna know what you guys think. Do you guys think that this Love is and Friends Festival is a scam? Okay, if it's not a scam, would you guys go? 
um, I really want to know. Make sure you comment below and comment on all of Josh Jot Down social media pages. Also, make sure you tune into the Audio Infusion where we continue this conversation every Saturday from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. on WEAA 88.9 FM. We will be talking and I want to hear from you all. So please call in at 410-319-8888. This whole festival has me really concerned. Uh, it has me concerned for the fans. It has me concerned for my people that want to go and have a good time and get some of these 90s throwback classics that they miss and that we love. Um, I really want to know, guys, because this is just nuts. Like, for people to really be out here trying to scam us on a great time and a good experience that we really look forward to, it's messed up. It's really messed up. So, once again, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I love y'all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.